Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add cheat files to your Folium emulator for Nintendo 3DS games. I'm going to show you the full steps so you have everything covered. So first of all, make sure you have Folium set up. There'll be a link in the description for a full setup guide on that as well. Next, if you go to your app store, you need to download something extra. And if you search for Rune Stone, and this is a text editor. You can use any other text editor that you want as well. We'll just need this to modify the cheat file to get the cheat file to work. I've seen some people do it like on the PC, on the Mac, then transfer the file over if you want to do that. But this is a method that requires no extra, you know, you know, hardware. It's literally just your iPhone or your iPad. So once you've got this, now what you want to do is go ahead and get your cheat. So if I open up Chrome, you want to go to this website, this Gitter website. Don't worry, you don't need to try and you know, remember the URL or you know try and remember this Git repository name. I'll have a link in the description, so feel free to check that out. Scroll down, click Cheats, and now find your game. I'll be testing this on New Super Mario Bros. 2. So if we go down, there's about five different versions. You want to select the correct region for your game. Open that. Now we'll have a text file. This random set of characters is the title ID. You don't want to go ahead and rename that. I know you might think, let's let me rename that to the actual game name. Don't do that. It won't work. You need to leave it as is. The beauty of using this you know, website that I'm going to provide, it has all the cheats for like literally any game that you want. And it's already in the, almost already in the correct format as well. There's one little modification you have to make just, you know, for this emulator. But like the, em, you know, the cheats are ready. You don't even have to go around hunting for codes and putting them in or anything like that. And then formatting it and then finding the title like this already. So if you open it up, click the three dots over here, click download. You'll click download. There we go. Now you want to go to files, and if I go to browse, go to on my iPhone. I've downloaded it using Chrome, so it's in the Chrome folder. Wherever you've downloaded it, if you just select that, and the file's right here. If I just keep it pressed, you'll select it, click copy. Now I'm going to go back to on my iPhone, Folium, Citrus. Now there'll be a folder called Cheats. In there, just keep your finger on the screen, keep it pressed, paste it right there. There we go. We still need to do one thing. We need to edit this file. So to do that, it's really simple. You open that RuneStone application up, and if you go to Browse, go to On My iPhone, go to, don't, remember, don't edit it from your downloaded directory. Edit it from the Folium directory, so Folium, you want to go to Citrus, Cheats, now edit the .txt. There's a few things that you want to do here. So you got all these cheats to enable a cheat. After the cheat name, but before the code, you want to put asterisk, Citra, all in low case, Citra underscore, don't look correct, yep. So Citra underscore enabled. And now that particular cheat will be enabled. The other thing you want to do is what I find is the these files have a couple of lines at the blank spaces, lines at the top. Just get rid of them. So no lines. I find sometimes it doesn't work with those lines. So this is just a little tip. And so you can activate any cheat that you want. So all the cheats are here. You just activate them as you need them. Click done. And you can open it up again to make sure it has saved. And now if you open up your emulator, open the game, I recommend having the game and the emulator closed before you add and enable any cheats just to make sure it is actually working. So now if I go to like new game, for example, Hmm? Uh -huh. 
Okay, so now if we go into the game itself, launch up a level. As you can see, it says 999 lives. So that's it. There you go. That is that particular cheat working. And I'll show you obviously how to get the cheats, how to actually enable them as well, and the little modification that you have to do for the Folium emulator, which is based on Citra. I do not want that mushroom to go away. Yep, I got it just in time. So that is it. That is how you enable cheats on the Folium emulator. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. If you need help gain a particular, you know, games, cheats, feel free to let me know, I'll help out. And if you have any questions about setting up Folium, feel free to let me know as well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.